Hello, my name is Keith Smith and welcome to this video on creating a probe tool and a calibration routine in MasterCam. So first of all, uh, you'll open up MasterCam and uh, this is MasterCam 2017. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, I, I strongly encourage it. Easy to use. Um, so anyway, the first thing uh, we're going to do is, after we have this opened up, is to bring in a machine definition. So we'll go to machines. We're going to bring in a mill and we're going to have to have a machine definition that not only has been uh, that matches our machine but also that's been uh, configured uh, with the Renishaw probe. So I'm going to open up this uh, definition here and I'm not going to do anything uh, about stock or uh, any of this kind of information right now. I'm going to go ahead and just create the uh, calibration routine. So I'm going to, uh, under tool pass, I'm going to go to probe and um, start a probing routine and it's asking me which probe uh, I want to use. Uh, Master Cam will uh, first come up with a uh, automatically with a sample probe and then uh, you could use that or probably the best thing to do is to create a probe that better matches your uh, probe that you're using on your machine. Uh, they're easy to create. I created this one uh, but to create a new one all you do is select create and then uh, you give it a, a name so I'll just call this uh, new probe and uh, then it's going to need a tool change ID because it'll be writing a program and changing to this uh, tool and we'll also give it a tool offset that will match the tool and then the probe uh, you'll select the um, style probe you have. We have a OMP40 probe, so I'll select that. And then uh, the stylist. You'll select the stylist that you're using on uh, your probe. We we'll use this uh, A5000 3709 probe, so I'll select that. And that's all there is to uh, creating a probe for your machine. We'll OK that. And uh, we'll uh, OK this dialog box. So once we uh, have a probe uh, selected for our routine, um, normally uh, when you create uh, probing routines, you would be selecting one of these uh, options. Uh, we're going to be selecting the calibration option. Um, so then uh, it's going to need to know what kind of uh, gauge we're going to be using. I'm going to be using a ring gauge. It's going to want to know where the center of the uh, uh, where the offset center is going to be, and that'll be at the center of our gauge. And our diameter, uh, you would probably be using, I don't know, most likely something like a one-inch ring or something. We have a a, a three uh, a probe that's just over, I mean, a ring gauge that's just over three inches. So I'm going to enter in the value of the size of our ring gauge, and it's uh, 3.630. Uh, it is an inside uh, ring. Uh, for the uh, coordinate system, we're going to use uh, zero because uh, in MasterCam that would be G54. And uh, the probe we're going to be using is not the sample probe, but the one we just created. So I'll go ahead and select that. And uh, the safety plane height. So you notice every time I'm uh, clicking on one of these options, uh, there's an um, explanation of what that option does. So I will go ahead and put in here, uh, I want a safety plane of 200 thousandths positive. And uh, so that's all I'm going to do to um, get this started. I'll uh, OK this and then notice my routine now has been written. So um, I'm going to go ahead and render this, but it's going to look a little funny because my stock doesn't uh, match what I'm actually doing, you know, my ring. But also, I just want to uh, caution is, uh, you that the um, when creating a calibration routine, uh, we don't normally create any geometry or anything at first. We'll just go ahead and create the routine, write the program, and send it off to the machine. So uh, I have my, uh, I, but I can verify, you know, what it's going to look like. So I'll bring up a verification window and go ahead and you can see my probe that I created and then go ahead and run that routine give you an idea of what it's going to look like. I didn't see any problems, although 
You know, this uh, remind, reminds me of something I, I want to mention. I'm going to uh, open up the parameters uh, again, and I'll show you um, what's what's wrong with with this routine. So when I uh, bring up parameters of this calibration routine, uh, this is a um, this uh, routine is going to calibrate the offsets, radius, and length. So uh, when it goes to calibrate the length, um, the default is just zero, 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 which would be at the center of my gauge. And uh, when the, uh, if you run this probing routine on your machine, and um, it goes to the center of the ring to calibrate the length, uh, it's not going to find anything because it's just air there and, and it's going to alarm out. So you have to give it some position uh, to check that uh, Z height. So I want that just off the side of my gauge. So I'm using a three, I gauge that's uh, three inches, 600 thousandths. So um, I, want it, I want it to hit the land outside that diameter. That would probably be at about, say, two inches. And uh, so I'll ex uh, accept that and uh, regenerate that uh, routine. And uh, notice now, uh, when it goes to check that Z, it's off here to the right at uh, X2 inches. So let's go ahead and verify that again. So it does the ring, and then it was pretty quick, but it did run over here and kind of coat top of my uh, Z. So we'll uh, call that good, and uh, we'll go ahead and generate a program. So. Uh, not unlike what you would normally do, but there will be a difference, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, I'll just call this uh, calibrate. And uh, save that. And then, uh, so this is the, uh, this dialog box is new. This is kind of the run -a shop portion of the post processor. So uh, we'll go ahead and process this. And uh, we're checking to make sure that this was successful. Uh, if there had been a problem with the way we set this up, uh, we would have uh, we would have not succeeded. And then we could look at the error list if there had been an error. So that turned out OK. So we'll just say done. And now the uh, post processor will come up one that you're more familiar with. Uh, you can go ahead and give this uh, some unique number. Uh, you want to remember that number, I'll, I'll explain that. Um, so I wrote, write this, this long routine for calibrating this uh, probe, and there will be a lot of sub-programs. So uh, for instance, here's program 02109. Um, anyway, so after loading uh, this program into your controller, you're going to have to look for programs uh, 7777 in the program list and select that and bring that into memory. Uh, and then it's going to call in all those sub programs. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to uh, creating a probe uh, tool and uh, creating a calibration routine. All right, thanks for watching.